Dennis Smith Memorial. He walked out of here with $100 from Kinney's Custom Hardwoods. But then when he came out for the Julie Smith and Dash for Cash, Bucknell Jr. fell quickly to the back of the field and then exited the speedway. So we will see if they got whatever was ailing that 95 car taken care of. There's a green flag flies. We are on the road. We already got one around. It is Ryan Kerr. Immediately we go yellow. So Fear now is going to check up as Ryan Kerr did not see. side kind of tells you how strong both of those cars are. The Buckwell Junior in qualifying today was out of this world good. Not so good in the dash for cash, but whatever was ailing that 95 car during the dash for cash, and it appears that he has it figured out. Now Buckwell Junior has comfortably taken that lead and now he is pulling away from Brian Getz. Getz looks at his mirror going to see the defending champion here in the top notch killer street stock Brian Biker now is talking Brian Getz. The field now pretty much single file from front to back. Again, the top eight from this race will automatically move into the Dennis Mitchell Memorial. The rest of the field will have to go through a last chance race. Stivers on the bubble. As you see, the sixth and the seventh car. That is your eighth and ninth position. So Ryan Kerr forward, they be locked in. going to see these guys knowing that this, they're in the top eight, they're locked in. You're likely not going to see either one of these two, especially team cars, if I could concur, you're likely not going to see them really get side by side unless they get pressure from behind. And right now, that is not developing. Sitting back in the fifth and sixth box, you've got Dave Lund. And sitting six, Glenn Knutson. Although Knutson's looking, uh, looking like he's peeking to the outside of one. Yeah, 
himself. So Dave Lund really not uh, going to, I don't think, race Knudsen a whole lot. If Knudsen wants a spot, I think Lund would probably go ahead and give it to him. He knows he's going to be locked into this one. Although Dave Lund is a fierce competitor, so it may not be an easy thing for him to do. And now Sean Jones is creeping up to Lund and Knudsen. Six car of Ryan Kerr. It's a pretty good distance. With only six laps remaining in this race. Buck Merrill Jr. is off the back of the field as he's working up now on to Todd Connell. Now Sean Jones has caught Dave Lund. And now we see Steinle making the move on Ryan Kerr. That is for the lock-in spot. Spot as Steibel has gone around Ryan Kerr, so now Ryan Kerr is shuffled to be the odd man out. And Sean Jones is right there with Dave Lund, but the laps are closing down. Only three laps remain. Sean Jones, not sure if he's aware of, of where he is right now, positioned here. Doesn't need to race Dave Lund at this point. Sean Jones is going to be in the show, as is Dave Lund. And look at this coming off of four. Look who has caught Buckman Jr. Ryan Getz right now is right there with Mayor Jr. And he wants to win as they're coming off of turn number four. Jr. on the inside, Getz charging on the outside, your winner, Buck Merrill Jr., followed by Getz, and then it is Brian Bykirk and Richard Kerr, and then Knudsen. First of all, you come out, you broke your own track record for the Dennis Smith Memorial. You walked out of here with that uh, Kenny Hardwood's uh, uh, $100. Now you come out here, you win the qualifier. But there was a race in between there, the Dash for Cash. What was going on in that Dash for Cash for you? Um, just uh, playing with some brakes and trying to figure out if we could get the balance a little better, get the car just in the, in the corner a little bit deeper and get it to rotate a little bit better. So uh, we were playing with that. and. Went in, we want to check the stager and figure out a few things. So n nothing real major, just uh, more playing it safe than anything. We got a good piece here. So uh, you come out now in this new tread qualifiers race. You're locked into the show, obviously, because you want it. The top eight getting locked in. The end of that race, Brian Getz. It looked like you were pretty well in command, and then all of a sudden there was Getz. Was that a car issue, or did Getz save something for the end on you? I, I don't know if he saved something at the end or, or if it was necessarily a car issue for us. I know we fell off a little bit, but uh, uh, he made up a lot of ground real fast. He, he wasn't there, and all of a sudden Bob's yelling on the radio saying, hey, Getz is looking low, looking high. But having to get somebody like that racing with, uh, you know that's going to be clean. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, Yeah, it's, it's going to be a great race tomorrow night. Who got you here this weekend? Who do you need to thank? Uh, do you think Bob Dexter at Northwestern Auto Glass? Uh, he hasn't just got us here. He's got us through pretty much the last two years of racing. So um, endless hours in the shop, O'Reilly's Auto Park, my mom and dad they anything we need they help out with uh, my wife puts up with the, everything up there alex she she deals with all the stuff so um i'm forgetting people i'm sure dan gets this down here um all the families i'm just happy to be here and uh, hopefully we can end up in the same place tomorrow so all right your winner of the new tread qualifying race number one buck noel jr